Yes. Um, <laughs> so yes, Tyler and I met at the University of Delaware. I was a freshman, Tyler was a sophomore, and we met on a bus that was taking students from campus to church. And from there, we got involved in the same campus ministry, so we started singing together all the time and writing music and leading worship and um, hanging out every day. And about three months after we started hanging out all the time, we decided that we should be dating. And so music has had has played a huge role in our relationship from the very beginning. I mean, it's what it's how we really bonded, and it's how we continue to kind of communicate to each other um, in an intimate way. I guess is through music. Definitely. Cool. Okay, so just when was the first time you wrote a song together? Ooh, this is a good one. Good question. Um, the first time we wrote a song together was at a BSM retreat, and it was a really bad song. And we, I don't think we were dating yet. No. And I wanted to do something in the time signature of seven. Five. five was it five on this one part of the song? Something and like that. Anyway, it, it was it was it, really it was a really bad song. But Jenny, like, I would try to help, and Tyler would be like, "No, he didn't try." Me I didn't trust you, but you didn't really feel comfortable with me no, yet. No, that's true. Like saying, no, actually, Tyler, this isn't good. Um, so <laughs> our relationship has developed a lot, and so when we write songs now, we're very comfortable taking them to each other and saying, what do you think of this, and being honest in our responses. Yeah. But, yeah, that was fun, that first song. <laughs> So which song did you finally decide to record that you wrote together? The first one. The first I think one. that was um, American Dream. The first one that we... That we recorded. No, it, was, it was in Opportunities. But I didn't write that with you. Oh, okay. The first collaboration. Yeah, yeah, you're right. American Dream, which is on a prelude, which we actually don't even sell anymore <laughs> because we're slightly embarrassed of it. <laughs> uh, but but yeah, that you wrote those songs in... High, I wrote the those lyrics, lyrics in high school, but then you gave me the melody and stuff. Yep. So it was a collaboration. Yep. So, besides the one-eyed cat, do you guys ever have any types of pets, or can you not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately that's not going to happen. Tyler is so allergic to cats, and we don't really love dogs or anything like that. We don't like love that. them enough to have them and spend money on them. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's... We, we have plenty of friends and family with pets that we get to see. Get to see them. And Jenny has this odd ability to attract cats <laughs> in many different places. Like it's actually we were true. we were walking around the neighborhood like a week ago, a week and a half ago, and this cat comes running out of a front yard. Just running. And and like comes right to Jenny. Yeah. I had not met the cat before. And that has not happened just once. It's happened in uh, on a few occasions. So yes. yeah. It's like she understands. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is your favorite song to sing? Hmm. Your favorite song to sing? My it fa- changes. It, it really does change. But of, of our songs, um, my favorite one right now to sing is "You Keep Loving Me." Um, just because I feel like it's so true for every day. And it, yeah, I just, I, lo- I really like singing that song. And it's a, it's a really good way for me to also, like, Tyler lets me play that song by myself. And in some ways that's a really good thing because I lack confidence. And um, so being forced to, like, play it in front of people is really good. I think my favorite song right now is Oh That Delight. And we hardly sing it, which is probably part of the reason I like singing it so much. Um, yeah, it, put, it takes me back to um, to when I was writing it, as most songs do, but it's a very personal song, and uh, it's about somebody I, I dearly love, and um, it helps me to grieve and mourn and lament in a healthy way, I think. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have to say my favorite song is Through Your Eyes, and that's mainly because I have mild Tourette syndrome, and so, you know, just, I struggle a lot with seeing myself the way that God does, and so, yeah, that's probably my favorite song by you guys, so we're 
when did you guys come up with that one? Yeah, that one was written a few years ago. Um, I actually have epilepsy, and so I w was writing it during a time where I was <laughs> um, kind of dealing a lot with being depressed about that and um, a lot of lies, like, you know, you're weird, you're not good enough, um, and just believing those things and, and really not wanting to believe them. So, um, and, and I think, too, it's there's something powerful about speaking those things, um, like the line, no one else has to know about this, kind of comes from that feeling of, of, um, of isolation and and uh, the, yeah, shame and the idea that you should just keep this all to yourself because no one, you know, nobody wants to know this stuff about you and no one should and no one will love you if you tell them about these things and, um, and I think it's liberating to, to say, hey, this is what's real right now. Um, and yeah, so that, that, the verses stem from a place of me just wanting to be honest. And then um, Tyler came and helped me with the um, I want to see myself through your eyes part. Um, so it was a collaboration for sure. But that line was just so perfect to me that I want to see myself through your eyes because it's just, it's perfect. Cause that's, if we could see ourselves the way the Lord sees us, then it's like so good. I don't know if I'm, I'm kind of rambling. It wouldn't matter. Yeah, it wouldn't matter, exactly. The way that we see ourselves, yeah. yeah. So, what is your favorite kind of show to play? Like a house show or outdoors, indoors? Yeah, I think probably in general house shows are our favorites because of the conversational aspects. Um, we get to meet some of our really good friends at house shows and um, bond with with families. We've, we we kind of have these like surrogate families now all over the country who we can stay with and call and pray for and they pray for us and eat their food and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a it's a privilege to be able to uh, to know and meet a lot of people we've we've gotten to know and meet. Yeah. So what was your most memorable show? Uh, My most memorable show was up in Zion, Illinois. And it wasn't primarily because the show was stellar, but because of the family who lived there. And they, man, they just talked about Jesus like pretty much the entire time in, in a way that was uh, was very real and and not not forced um, just kind of just sharing stories about what God has done what they've seen and then there was a time of prayer and um, and that uh, some crazy amazing stuff happened um, I, I'd, I'd have a I've had a bad back uh, for a long time um, since I was 16 I had a, a pretty bad accident and um, they prayed for my back and I have not had it like it's it's been it's healed you know um, so that was amazing that was that was really awesome yeah I actually think one of my favorite shows was at a um, college in Naperville Illinois at a venue there called the Union and it was my favorite because the crowd was so enthusiastic and we played um, See the Conqueror which is a song about the resurrection and people like on the part where we all sing He's Alive, people were just like freaking out it was like just cheering and that happened sometimes but that was, I think was like the first time it had ever really happened like that and it will always stay with me I think it's like wow that was a really cool moment so final question when is new music coming out or are you not disclosing that well new music? yeah we're working on a, a couple things one uh, there are a lot of there are a lot of ideas but the the two most s closely solidified ideas are uh, a love songs album and a uh, 
Christmas, another Christmas project. Um, but I don't know when, really, I mean, when that's going to happen. Well, Open Your Doors was just released in April, so we're really still focused on that, and we will be for quite a while, I think. Yeah, we'll probably, we usually wait about a year and a half between new albums, but we we like putting out music, so we might... It might just be free stuff. Yeah, we might release it on Noise Trade or our website or something like that. Cool, thank you very much. Yeah, I really you. appreciate it. Thanks for having us, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>